Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is maybe the most exciting video that I'm probably ever gonna post on YouTube or like definitely have posted to date. I really don't know how to say this. So I feel like I just need to come straight out of it because I'm nervous and I feel like I have so much to say that I don't know what to say, but. I wrote oh my god it feels so surreal to be able to be talking about this to you guys and to be filming this video and to be holding the book here this is just like the most crazy thing i think i've just ever done in my life i've got so much to talk about and so much to say which is why i'm making this full youtube video on this but um this is what i've been in a relationship with for the last nearly year my book <laughs> i don't even know where to start so i think i'm just going to start from the very beginning however most exciting news the book is available to pre-order now now. This feels so weird to say this, but it comes out in early June, but you can pre-order it from today, which is Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day. You can pre-order it on Amazon. And what I've recently learned, which I think is very, very cool, is if you pre-order the book now, you won't actually pay for it until the book is launched, which is going to be early June. And you'll only ever pay the lowest price that the book gets to in the pre-sale period. So the more pre-orders that it gets, basically the cheaper the book will be and the less you will pay. So please, 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 guys, if you want to read my book I would be over the moon if you could pre-order it I will leave all the links down below send me pictures send me screenshots the full lot now I've told you how you can get the book let's get into the backstory of my baby so I'm just gonna keep her here whilst I'm talking but this actually might not be that much of a surprise for those of you who have watched my videos for years because I've always said that I've really wanted to write a book and it's been something I've been quite vocal about I was really unsure on what I wanted to write a book necessarily about I just knew it was something that I wanted to do I literally took myself away on a little like countryside trip with Callum and Freya like over two years ago and I vlogged it for YouTube actually so you can go and watch that video if you want and I started brainstorming ideas for a book all the way back then because I knew it was something I wanted to do so badly and at that point there was no conversations no in talks no meetings going on that was literally just me wanting to do it so bad and manifesting it and started writing a book I guess and ideas and then last year the conversation just kept coming about and about with my manager and I was like babe like I really 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 want to write this book like how possible do you think it's going to be for me to be able to become an author and I love my manager because she's always really realistic with me and she said like it's not easy and I knew it wasn't going to be easy but I had some meetings and I got my dream publisher. I am working with Penguin and Ivory Books and it literally still doesn't feel real. Like none of this whole process has felt real. I had the meeting with Penguin back in June last year. And I remember I actually took a Snapchat on that day and I'll pop it up on the side here. And I sent it to my group chat and I was like, guys, like I, just, I was so excited and I just had a gut feeling when I left that it was gonna happen. But of course I didn't wanna get my hopes up just in case that it, it didn't, you know, they might not have liked me. They might not have wanted me to write a book. I might not have been right for it and then I was on holiday last year in Italy this was like end of June beginning of July and I'm really happy that I actually have this clip because this was the moment that I found out I was actually gonna write the book she's timing, she's timing, she's timing. why do I look like this when she told me <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god Congrats. what the f I put the camera up because my manager actually texted me saying, are you sat down? And I was like, right, this is either gonna be telling me I'm gonna become an author or telling me that it wasn't gonna happen. And it was that I was gonna become an author. And I honestly, like I've never been so happy in a moment. And I'm so happy that I have that moment on camera to be able to look back at and just think, yeah, like that was the day that like technically my life changed or like my dream came true. So when I got back from holiday, we had meetings and the book, process began and that just felt completely surreal for me like I couldn't believe I was actually going to write a book the first thing I actually do just want to say because I really want to like get this out there I haven't had any form of ghostwriter nobody has helped me write this book it has been completely 100% me and I think that is generally why I'm so proud of this because it's something that I've poured my heart and my soul into and to me if I was going to write a book I'm writing the book like no one else is writing that book for me and I knew it was going to be a challenge like, 
like I've never wrote before in that sense of like I've obviously never wrote a book before so I didn't think it was going to be easy but I like a challenge and with a good idea I knew that I had it in me to be able to do it so we started the meetings we started the whole planning like what each chapter was going to be what each chapter was going to include and then basically I want to give you like a full rundown of the book process because I just found it really interesting basically I got given deadlines so I don't really want to tell you too much about what the book is about but maybe that would actually be a good place to start before I go into this it's called relationship status that probably would have been a really good place to start so it is essentially as it says on the front a survival guide to love dating and heartbreak and you might be thinking oh Anna that's really interesting that you wrote a relationship book when you're only 23 and you've had a boyfriend for a matter of a couple of months but I have obviously had a dating themed podcast now for nearly nearly it will be two years years this year and it's a subject that I feel so passionate about because I have so much to say on it. This book isn't an autobiography, it has a lot of detail about me but it's essentially a guide to modern day dating and how the to try and get around it and I love the fact that we're using that slogan because the day that I had the meeting I actually went out for dinner with Josh and Haz and they said to me like right what is the book going to be about and I said guys like the only way I can think of describing it is like it's basically modern day dating and how the to get around it and that stuck with me and as soon as I said it has and Josh were like write that in your notes that you're going to want to use that and we are and I love that but that is essentially what it's about I don't want to spoil anything what you're going to read in the book but let me tell you there is some deep stories in this book that you are not going to hear anywhere else I will never be saying them online they are purely just in this book and things that are going to absolutely shock you to your core which I love because I just love the fact that it's just in here like essentially this was like a diary some parts of this to me and right the book was like therapy so yeah some parts in here you're going to be extremely extremely shocked and I love that I'm really 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 excited and terrified for you to read those parts but also really exciting I'm very terrified for you to read those parts believe me because once they're out there they're out there but I'm really excited I think it's just going to open so many new doors for me and if this is like the direction that I want to go with my career and I'm just yeah I'm very excited for you to read it but that's the preface of what the book is about without me telling you because I want you to read it I don't want to sit and explain every chapter and go into it like I want you guys to read it I want you to read like something that I'm proud of and something that I've worked on. So now you know that, what I basically did was I got given deadlines. So every two weeks or roughly two weeks, I had to turn in a chapter and then the chapter would be obviously sent off. It would be approved. I'd have to make changes. And that is how my routine literally went from July time to December last year. And it's crazy the fact that I wrote this book while still doing all my other jobs, while still doing YouTube, whilst traveling and nobody had a clue. Like I literally could not mention a thing thing like normally in vlogs I'd be like oh yeah I'm doing this today I'm doing that today like I'm working on something I literally could not say a thing and it was crazy because I obviously knew but nobody else knew but I don't know so yeah that was the deadline that I was working against and I finished writing the book it was December time I read it over Christmas like proofread the full book back over Christmas and it was just like the most surreal feeling knowing that like it essentially took me about four months to fully write the book that those four months have been spent doing that and I'm just so proud of it like I didn't know how I was gonna write like when I first started I was like what the fuck do I do as the opening line like now we're here how do I go about this and if I do say so myself I absolutely smashed it all the feedback that I got was just everything that I could have imagined and hands down is probably the proudest thing I've ever done in my life like I wrote a book I was writing until all hours of the morning I remember and you know what? I'm kind of annoyed at myself for not documenting as much of the process as I would have liked because I would have loved to have been able to watch back that writing process and I do have a couple of like snapchats and stuff which I'll pop on screen from when I was writing the book but overall like it was like therapy and I cried a lot writing this book and they can't she actually said to me like one of the people that I was working with at Penguin actually said to me you're probably gonna cry writing it because it's so personal and you're gonna discover a lot of things about yourself and a lot of people after they wrote a book do actually end up getting therapy because they uncover a lot of issues they didn't know they had and I haven't had therapy just yet um for this reason but I'm genuinely thought about it because it really did open lots of cans of worms but in the best way possible and like I said I cried like a lot of nights I was in bed like crying because one I was so proud but two it was so much to write down and let out and it was like a release and I think that's another reason I'm so proud of it because it's so personal in some parts and so deep in some parts that I'm proud of myself for being able to write that down and turn that into a positive I was writing everywhere I could like on trains and I was traveling in the house like literally everywhere I remember the flight when me and Byron went to LA and Vegas in October the entire flight I was spent just writing and you're also going to hear from two of my best friends in the book as well which is really exciting Byron has actually written it and so has Saf I really wanted their points of views on some of the topics that I've spoken about so I love the fact that they've also been involved and a lot of my other friends as well and my mum have also kind of
of like chimed in and put like little bits and bobs in which is lovely so you're gonna hear from a lot of people in this book not just me okay now we've spoken about the actual content of the book let's talk about the cover so i actually had this cover shoot back in december so proud because I got to style myself, I got to choose how I wanted my hair and makeup, I got to choose all my outfits, the colour of the background, everything and I worked with the most amazing photographer, like absolute credit to him because the pictures that we got are just incredible and he really made me feel so comfortable because obviously a book cover shoot is huge, like this picture is going to be everywhere for the rest of my life and all the promo pictures and we haven't actually completely transparent designed the back yet, this is just a dummy book, there obviously is going to be lots on the back and on the spine and whatever but we've just done the front at the moment and yeah I like had a vision and I wanted to be perfect and I feel like now we've reached that like I want to be completely honest we didn't get the cover right the first time like it has taken lots of amendments and changes to get it how I really really wanted it and now I'm so happy with it like if I've wrote a book I want the cover to be perfect and something that feels super super me and this really does like I've just been getting like red nails to incorporate it like I've been loving red recently I wonder why because I've actually got red on my book and obviously you would have seen in the footage from the shoot you would have seen my outfit was actually brown but we've edited it red because we thought it was worked better with the sexiness of the book because the book is very sexy at times and it's very revealing and exciting which I love so I wanted to incorporate that red in there because that just felt right and just the little lips on like relationship status and yeah I think the pitch that we went for in the end as well just I'm thinking about a lot and it's all in this book yeah I just think it portrays what's in the book perfectly so yeah that was the cover I'm super super happy with it I love it and when I opened it actually it was like a whirlwind of emotions I'm so excited. It is 1.01 in the afternoon on Friday the 2nd of February and I have got here the dummy cover of my book. So it's not actually my book. My book hasn't been printed yet and we haven't fully designed the back cover but it's basically my front cover just put on a random book so that I can film all of like my teaser bits for you guys to announce the actual book. Even though this isn't my actual like book, this is just the cover, I feel very emotional. Like I still can't believe that I'm about to open this like just this whole experience as I already would have said has been crazy but I think actually visually seeing this is just gonna be a lot and I'm really 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 excited I'm really happy with the front cover now I want to be completely transparent and honest like it has taken a while to this front cover that both me and everybody else loved just because I had such a vision in my head that I really wanted to bring to life with the colors that we used and everything and I'm just yeah I'm super happy so I was gonna FaceTime my mum whilst I open it but I think I'm just gonna do it on my own and then I'm gonna FaceTime her after <laughs> I don't want to open it, I'm so nervous. I just feel like this is like such a big moment, like even though it's not my actual book, just like seeing the front cover. I have to tell you what though, it's done up so well. It's in another brown packet, so you've got to open this first. Oh God. I don't know if I'm going to cry or not. I can feel myself getting a bit emotional. I'm trying, I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> oh my God, I think I'm going to cry. What the fuck? Oh my god, why am I crying? I haven't even properly looked at the book yet. Oh, I can't cry today, I've got too much to do. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually can't believe that it's real. I feel such an idiot. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Like, I absolutely love it. It looks so much better in real life than it does, like, when I was seeing the mock-ups and stuff, I was like, oh. It was, it was really hard for me to actually visualise what the book was going to look like, but this is, like, everything I wanted and more. Like, I can't believe this is my book. 
Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna call my mum now. I'm gonna show my mum. I think my mum's probably gonna cry as well. <laughs> Overall, there is a message that I want people to take from this book. I don't really want to spoil what that is. Again, I want you to read it. I want you to enjoy it. I want you to laugh. I want you to cry. I want you to be inspired to open up and discover new things about yourself. There's so many things I want people to take from this book and I really think people will take from it and also be able to go back to it to look at as almost like a guidebook to dating because dating in our 20s is hard we're in 2024 with social media dominating our lives like it's really hard to date now and that's why i wanted to make this book because sometimes you know i'm single i wrote this freshly coming out of a relationship and i needed the help like i really needed the help in the dating world like even if you're in a relationship this book is still perfect for you you don't have to be single to read this book it's just overall i hope a very empowering read that i think you're all gonna take something from and yeah the ending oh my god i bawled my eyes out when I wrote the ending. It felt like I was closing a chapter and closing a door on that part of my life that I'm really proud of. And I know I've said proud so many times, but I am like, you know, at, at 23 years old, I've done this and I've wrote this book and I just still feel so grateful and lucky to have been given this opportunity. So yeah, I wanted the message to be pure and super, super empowering. And I think it really is. So yeah, don't skip to the end when you read a book, but I'm really excited for you to read that and feel the empowerment that I felt when writing the book it is available now to pre-order lots of exciting things to come when the book actually does come out as well which i just can't wait for it's going to truly be the best year of my life but you can pre-order it now like i said i will leave all the amazon and other links etc down below and you guys can get pre-ordering and like i said if you do pre-order it now you won't pay for it until the book comes out in june and you'll only ever pay the lowest price that it gets to in the pre-order period so it could go down a fair bit to what it is now yeah i would massively appreciate if you guys showed your support and bought the book because so much has gone into this and I just think yeah it's really exciting also I hope you guys like the promo as well that was completely Byron's idea I can't take credit for that at all but like the whole thing I've been doing on Instagram and TikTok with getting like love letters and flowers and then me in the bar <laughs> for me to promo this book because I literally sat and brainstormed with Byron one night at like two, three in the morning and he was like, I've got it. This is what you're gonna do. And he filmed and edited all that video for me. And it's just, he is the most incredible person. I'm so excited for you to hear from him in this book. But yeah, that was all his idea. And I just thought it was perfect to leave people to thinking I have a boyfriend. And nope, this is my boyfriend, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much as well to everyone I've worked with at Penguin and Ebri Books and my manager and just everyone who's taken part in this book in some way, shape or form. I massively appreciate it and you've brought my vision to life and I just can't wait for the next few months It's gonna be truly very exciting. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching I really hope you guys have enjoyed like I said all the links will be down below to pre-order and I will see you very soon for a brand new video Bye